Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go through how to make your own stationary mock-up for like greeting cards. If you have been on the hunt for mock-ups for Affinity Designer, you will know they are extremely hard to find. So this is a great way to create your own, whether you want to show it on social media, in your portfolio, or to even send it to art directors. You can be really precise with your sizes and like Google the card size that you want and what the envelope size is. I am not going to be that fussy for this. I'm just going to make what's the shape of an envelope. Just because it is a mock-up, it's for an idea. It doesn't have to be precise. I'm going to start with the rectangle tool and it is on blue. I'm just going to switch this to like a white or a cream color. It's kind of gray and that's fine. So that's roughly the shape of an envelope. And now I want to add the flap on to the envelope. And you can actually do this in your shapes and do the triangle. And obviously that's not perfect, but you can align it you could also use the pen tool for this. I actually want this top corner to be slightly rounded, so grab the corner tool and pull down. Okay, so I like the shape of that. Before I get too far ahead, I'm actually just going to go ahead and make a liner for my envelope. So. If you buy any like higher end cards, you'll notice that they have liners in it. It can be patterns, it can be different colors, and they look really nice. And I like how it looks in a mock-up just because it's not just one solid envelope color. So with those pieces selected, Command C and Command V to copy and paste. And for now, I actually am going to do a different color. And I'm going to bring this in slightly on the right and left sides and then do the same at the top. So we will come back and add some depth to these, but for now I just want to go ahead and get started on the rest of the bottom of the envelope. Once again, you can use the triangle tool. Switch that color to the envelope color. Keyboard shortcut is V if you want to switch back to your move tool. Line up with your envelope. I do want to edit this slightly, so I'm just going to convert to curves. And with the node tool or A on your keyboard, I'm just going to adjust this up slightly. Once again, Command C, Command V to copy and paste. And then go up to the top and flip horizontally and drag to the other side and make one more triangle. Once again, I'm going to adjust that top corner to a slightly rounded one. So as you can see, this is a pretty flat design, like you can't even see the different shapes. So I want to start adding some depth piece by piece. So this top one, go over to your layers panel and actually click effects. And I want to add a drop shadow or an affinity designer, it's actually outer shadow. So I want to add that. And as you can see, it has already outlined the envelope. And even that already looks better than what it did before. I'm going to switch this to a 90 degree angle and increase that offset. And you can also increase the radius. So as you can see, it's definitely starting to look more like an envelope. If that's a little too dark for you, you can either change the color to like a medium gray or just go in and change the opacity. I want to click on both sides. I'm going to do the same thing. 
Once again, it's already looking a lot better. I don't know if I want to do too much with that as I did with that bottom. So I like that. I'm just going to keep it as is. And now I want to select that top liner. And I want to do instead of an outer shadow, which you can do, and that looks fine. So actually I will keep it and I'll add one to the bottom. But with this top liner, I actually want to go in and do inner shadow as well. Do the 90 degree angle. And I am going to offset this one. And then add kind of like a bit of a little bit of a radius to it. So I like that. Now click the back of that flap. Once again, do that same inner shadow that we did before. And the color on that one, I actually, because it's blue, I want to switch it from the black to more of a navy so it kind of blends in just a little bit more. So there is your envelope mock-up. I'm just going to group these together for now. And then turn it on an angle. And this is where you can add in the design that you have already created. I'm just going to grab the holiday card. This design was from a previous video on how to create greeting cards in Infinity Designer. If you're interested, I will leave a link up in the top right. For now, I'm just going to grab this, Command C, and then Command V. And now that I have the card design in here. I'm going to update the liners to one of the colors in the card. And you can actually do the same thing for all of the other pieces in the card. And like I mentioned before, you can actually do patterns in these flaps very easily. If you go to the fill tool and go up to type and bitmap, you can very easily add that in. I will leave once again a link up in the top right if you're interested in adding patterns very easily to things like this. Just to give this a little depth to it, I'm actually going to do the outer shadow again. Add some of your branding to this and you have a wonderful way of sharing your design on social media or to art buyers. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.